so friends hope you are doing great you are safe sound in this difficult times so today i shall discuss how to open a cash credit account in some banks the terminology used is cash credit it's just like a running limit given to a businessman in his uh, besides his current account so there is a, a mpbf maximum permissible bank finances calculated by the analysis form uh, you can say 4 where in 3 years balance sheets figures are filled in and how much finance uh, maximum permissible finance is available for that customer is decided and after that a limit is allotted to him it is like a running limit right it's a limit and it is against stock raw materials semi finished goods finished goods which is a moving stock so if the limit is within um, uh, manageable limits we don't obtain any collateral security or secondary security but if the limit is large the so banks has its own policy for obtaining any collateral so wherein we keep the papers of the property uh, with the bank as mortgage we call it equitable mortgage right so here the primary security is stock either in the factory or in the shop or wherever that we have given a loan against any shop in the mall or any retailers right so we call it cash credit it's like a running limit and then drawing power is decided on the basis of stock statement given by the customer now that stock statement given by the customer has to be verified by the bank officer whether that stock is available and if it is less than less dp is given if it is covering more than 25 percent margin of the limit more than 25 percent of the limit that we have granted then we give total cash credit to uh, limit as drawing power to the customer he can draw drawing power means how much a customer can draw from that cash credit limit the limit is different and drawing power is different drawing power cannot be more than a limit limit cannot be less than drawing power right the drawing power depends on the primary security how much stock is available against that stock we give a cash credit limit to the customer right so again i told you we can create a collateral and link many accounts with the collateral i have shared a separate video on my bank site bank uh, tech skills website and if uh, if uh, material is available i'll sh share in the youtube but it is a live demo on my website wherein i have created a collateral and i have linked various accounts oh, <coughs> sorry or one account with that collateral right so there are two commands hclm and hsclm for that linking of collaterals right so opening of cash credit account the command is h o a a c c c c c for cash credit right so while we are opening savings current account overdraft you must be remembering that the first five alphas are the same in all the all the commands h o a a c right only the last two alphas changes so in savings is become SB, current account becomes CA, OD it becomes OD, right? TD it becomes term, term deposit becomes TD, right? And for RD it remains term deposit only. So cash credit it is CC here, right? So we have this complete guide in this banktechskills.com. Please do subscribe to this. This will be very, very useful and do give me your feedback. Do like our Facebook page as well as Instagram and share your name on the email that I'll be sharing in my detail links. And so that I'll give 30% 30 30 discount to four people in a month, wherein 30% discount would be given right on the module. And uh, you can enjoy various live videos and lots of materials are there related to banking, sales and selling techniques skill development soft skills personality development career management stress management right so i'll give you a complete package on my website this is for sure so the command was for opening cash credit h o a a c c c click on go this screen appears right the function would be add to so first we type the command h o a a c c c then function then scheme code will be choosing in which variant of the scheme we want to open the account so that depends from bank to bank then differs from bank to bank also right then we'll enter the kif id 
right then scheme code under which scheme we want to open this cash credit account that is again populated subsidiary subsidiary general ledger head sanction reference number who sanctioned it who recommended it what is the sanction letter date number you can write here it will be there permanent in the system so that in case even if the records is destroyed or misplaced or lost we can find out the who had given this sanction and that can be verified click on go i've shared these videos live on my website again i'm repeating you will be seeing the live videos on my website then function o open automatically h o a a c c c as you would enter you get the screen right function o will be automatically populated then you have to enter type kfid for which account the the account for which this overdraft is linked to which kfid so all those details will be automatically populated which have been entered in the kif creation so that will be a corporate kfid right remember this sol id would be our branch sol id or wherever it is being opened then scheme code cc general cash credit general right sanction reference number some banks have a different uh, command for generating a reference number or we have a manual system also to sanction reference number you can write here the letter date or you can find from the searcher also ccy inr subsidy analyzer subhead code is 60101 this will be automatically populated inr will be also be a uh, uh, of its own populated right the what tabs you have to visit general details interest details scheme details amount limits and rpd that is related party details so if there are more than one authorized signatories or one two more than one directors are operating the account we'll have two kfids we have to add them as joint or either of the operator of the cc account and these tabs are mandatory even if there is no field update updation done in these tabs user or verifier has to visit about tabs compulsorily otherwise system will show you error at, after you complete the job so there will be hyperlinks of the errors appearing on the screen and you'll have to go on there and then do it it's better you make it a habit and visit all these tabs, uh, tabs without hesitation without any reminder usually most of the fields would be populated as per the parameter set a scheme code so whatever scheme code we are entering most of the fields would be automatically populated right as per the requirement of the bank certain data would be populated from the kif of the customer right remember this so certain data would be reflected whatever address details his uh, uh, this uh, kyc documents id proof address proof mobile number email id right and uh, registered address also if it is a corporate kif id so we have to choose a registered address as a preferred type of address here then mode of operation go on the searcher joint either of the two either of the three so depends on the mandate given to us and there will be a board resolution also for opening this interest details tab displays the interest details tab here right so herein you don't have to do much changes here right so account name would be automatically populated right so you can see all these account opening date will be there then the we have this debit credits 999999 i mean it's beyond a limit so any amount can be debited credited report could be cc gen scheme code was cc gen also right then uh, what else preferential calendar base has to be gregorian by default we don't use hisra in our country we use only gregorian calendar here right statement then uh, gregorian calendar then dispatch mode if statement is to be generated and current accounts don't have passbook only statement can be generated and that statement will be sent by post by courier by or will be delivered or will be taken by the cust uh, customer himself sending his representative so all these options are available in the drop down i have shared in the live videos on my website right there i have explained very much in detail right then next print date that is again printing okay, whatever statement has been generated will automatically keep on changing it right 
and then mode of operation so you can see here search here pe jaiye point number 7 here go on the searcher here this right hand side mode of operation has to be entered so our main thing is mode of operation otherwise statement will automatically appear frequency will automatically appear monthly you don't have to change anything in the week in the day just the date first of every month statement would be generated and sent to the customer by post here in this screen right so you can choose email id also whatever you want to write then interest debit account interest will be debited in the cash credit account whatever limit is being availed in the debit balance interest would be debited and we have to choose select interest debit account as original means in with the account that we have given overdraft or cash credit interest would be debited in that account itself only to so some countries some banks have this option of okay, they can they may say okay, interest has to be debited credited from some different account so here interest would be debited in the same original account only in which the cash credit limit is being granted next interest calculation date so interest on loans is calculated on monthly basis by the system in all the banks so we'll choose let's say we are opening the account on the month of june to so 30th june would be the date of interest next interest calculation date then we go on to and there won't be any credit we don't pay any interest on uh, cash credit we only charge so interest calculation date credit would be uh, you can say masked here that will be hidden we cannot make any changes in that then scheme tab will appear here right so don't have to change must pay interest no collect interest yes all these fields right but what interest code will be automatically populated here right what is the rate of interest maximum minimum will be there right then all these fields would be very clear in my website i have explained very much in details right so you can see here um, interest debit account original we have chosen right interest account pegged no means as and when mclr is changed or base rate is changed the rate of interest in the account would change so it is not pegged like in case of fixed deposit it is it is pegged remember this because interest is paid the day that fd is created here it is linked with the it is a floating rate of interest it is linked with the mclr as the mclr changes it goes up and rate of interest will go up if it goes down rate of interest will go down the so pegging is no here remember this then limit sanction how much limit are we sanctioned 40 lakhs 5 lakhs 10 lakhs whatever is there an expiry generally cash credit is given for one year only so it has to be reviewed or renewed after before expiry of one year we have to obtain balance sheets if you are not able to renew or review uh, renew we have to review it whatever financial data we can get hold of renew for three months only then after three months again we have to renew right so this screen appears here whatever limit you are granting sanction limit you can see point number 12 10 uh, 1 lakh here right uh, nominations no cash credit where you can't make any nominations here expiry date it is generally one year right so it has to be renewed before one year or if not renewed because financials are not ready by that time audited nahi hai so we can review for three months further review for three months but after that it has to be renewed uh, account health normal it is not substandard it is not npa right then document date on which date document is executed review date generally less than one year sanction level who has sanctioned the limit branch manager cluster head senior manager or some other level sanctioning authority we have to go on searcher you have to go for these on all the searches for sanction level also and sanction authority also right drawing power indicator it indicator has to be derived here remember this it is derived d we have to choose dp as drop down so we have to choose derived d derived means we are deriving from the value of stock which changes which may change each every month which is given by the borrower to the bank and it is to be checked by the officer of the bank to so derive arrived at from the value of securities value of stock given by the customer 
equal in case of limit if it is maintained without specifying the drawing power and parent when we create a tree so i'll show you on videos on when we create a uh, this uh, tree limit tree i'll be showing you the way we'll be choosing drawing power as parent or children or whatever it is right here we'll choose d derived again stop Related party tab, first page will appear of the first KIF ID that we had entered in the system. Next, when we add, we can add authorized signatories. If there are two authorized signatories, we'll add two details in the related party details. But this has to be visited even though there is no other authorized signatory. Of course, there, would, there won't be any one authorized signatory or at least two signatories would be there. They may be authorized or they may be directors of the company also. right? So you can see here sanction date expiry document date then review date right the review date is generally less than the expiry date remember this right then we have sanctioning authority go on the searcher branch manager cluster ahead or any other head reference number you can write from the sanction documents anything you can write here then drawing power is derived on point number 19 it is derived from the value of stock that is primary security for joint account holder details are captured here by linking kif of the joint account holder and the main holder so jahap you will have related party details you will type the kif id of the joint account holder and automatically he will be added as a joint account holder so you can see here point number 22 here right So left hand side there is an add button here. This we are on related party details here. This one. So you add here. This page will again reappear, but all fields will be blank. If we type KIF ID here, all the details here written will be automatically populated like they have been populated. Whatever KIF ID we have entered by in the beginning while opening the account. Right? Then document code. You can choose if it is promissory note, demand promissory note or any other agreement, guarantee, anything. Due date of the document, it will be less than one year. Scan. Now this finical version has also option of scanning the documents. Documents may be lost, may be misplaced, may be difficult to find, may be mislanded somewhere. So if we scan in the system, we can always generate a print of that document for references. Then add, we can add another record, we can add two signatories in this, right. So you can see here, right, the DPN point number 22 document code is demand promissory note. Scan details not required in this bank, it is not required. If it is required, you will type yes and scanner has to be attached while scanning the documents. Due date. So one year date is the generally due date, less than one year from the one year date, one day lesser than the year date, next year date. So I think document code, due date, scan required, no, if it is required, otherwise you can add as many directors or authorized signatories by adding in the related party details. So you can see again it is shown here, demand promissory note, scan not required. So we have shown you two documents here. Two persons have been added as a director of the company, right? So this is done. Now MIS is very, very important from bank's point of view. Fill this uh, field very carefully because generally we take it whatever we feel like we enter it in the system and reports will be generated accordingly the bank why, why is bank require reports why is any limit given to such a person or any limit beyond a limit so we, this has to be uh, you can say more clarified while entering in the system mis codes have type of tab borrowers type of advance category of advance a commodity for advance has been given to bank can generate any report that it likes so this all are 
MIS codes, these are to be filled up. Go on the search here, you can and search here, so you can choose anything here. So you can see here the uh, little subsector code, sector code, all these are which sector, agriculture, industrial sector, whatever sector is there, right? And uh, yes. As soon as you submit after this MIS, you get this account ID, which has to be noted down. And from the menu H O A A C V C C, we verify this cash credit account. Right now, we have opened a cash credit account H O A A C C C, and it has to be verified by H O A A C V C C. When verification V is there before the cash credit C C. Now I'll show you a maker can modify even before verification by a verifying authority or any checker. The command for that is H O A A C M C C, right? Modification before verification. Earlier, if the account number was generated by the maker, any mistake was there, it has to be verified, then again modified, then again verified. Here, same person can create a cash credit account, modify before verification and then verification. So one step has become lesser in this case. A similar that we have discussed in CASA, same cheese week. Any field we want to, so all the fields will appear wherever we want to add any information, any field or we want to change any information, any field, we can do it through this command. So this was all about uh, uh, how to open a cash credit account. I hope you enjoyed this. And again, please do give your feedbacks. Subscribe to my Facebook, Instagram page of banktechskills.com and do give your comments. Please, I'm waiting for your feedback. That is of paramount importance to me, right? Thank you. Remain safe.